Hundreds of sealed wine jars have been revealed during the latest excavations in the tomb of Egyptian First Dynasty Queen Merneth. The Egyptian-German-Austrian archaeological mission excavating the tomb of Queen Meritneith of the First Dynasty in Amelkuebe at Abydus in Sohag succeeded in uncovering hundreds of sealed jars containing remnants of wine in addition to uncovering a group of funerary equipment. Mustafa Wazari, Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, said the archaeological team found several grave goods, including hundreds of large wine jars, some of which had intact stoppers and contained the well preserved remains of 5,000 year old wine. Inscriptions also indicate that Meritneith had been in charge of central government offices, like the Treasury, which lends credence to the theory that she played a historically significant role, Wazari noted. Dietrich Rau, director of the German Archaeological Institute, pointed out that Meritneith had been the only woman with her own monumental tomb in Egypt's first royal cemetery at Abydus and was probably the most powerful woman of her era. Rao added that recent excavations have provided new information about this unique woman and her era and given rise to the speculation that Meritneith may have been the first female queen in ancient Egypt, thus predating Queen Hatshepsut of the 18th dynasty. Her true identity, however, remains a mystery, he concluded. E. Christiana Kohler, head of the mission, said that Meritneetha's monumental tomb complex in the desert of Abydus, which includes her own tomb as well as those of 41 courtiers and servants, was built of unfired mud bricks, mud, and timber. Kohler added that through meticulous excavation methods and new archaeological technologies, the team demonstrated that the graves had been built in phases over a relatively long period. This observation, together with other evidence, radically challenges the oft-proposed but unproven idea of ritual human sacrifice in the First Dynasty, she noted. The discovery of this ancient wine contributes significantly to the field of archaeology and the study of ancient civilizations. Archaeologists have long held that wine production and consumption were integral components of ancient societies, particularly among the elite. Wine was not only a treasured beverage but also a symbol of status and power. The kings of Egypt, in particular, were known for their fondness for wine, which they consumed during rituals and offered to the gods. The finding of this 5,000-year-old wine proves that these societies had advanced knowledge of winemaking. The preservation of the wine remains over such a long period is a testament to their skills and techniques. It also offers a unique glimpse into the methods and practices of wine production thousands of years ago. The discovery is significant because it provides new information about the first dynasty of Egypt. The kings of this era, such as Horaha, are considered the first royal family to control both Upper and Lower Egypt in a unified kingdom. However, little is known about this era, and this recent discovery could provide valuable insights into the life and practices of the time. This discovery was made in a chamber believed to have been used for the burial rituals of Egypt's first major king. The chamber contained a cache of 200 rough ceramic beer and wine jars, indicating that wine and beer played a crucial role in the burial rituals and offerings made during these rituals.